Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. The title of this video is um, Hypocrites and Dogmatists. Uh, I've got a lot of friends on YouTube and some of these friends uh, find that uh, I also have some enemies. That There's a small group of people who want to make videos, you know, always criticizing, you know, what I believe and what I'm teaching. So when my friends see these videos, they're disturbed by them and they, they want to send me the video or uh, send me a comment that someone's saying something bad about me. Well, I know my, my friends' intentions are good, uh, but uh, it's not that I'm ignorant of what's going on. I just basically ignore it. Uh, these enemies have uh, long uh, since been blocked, so I don't have anything to do with them. Uh, however, uh, uh, I do not watch the videos they're making, but I do scan through the comment section. So I, I, it's been very helpful to me in that way in that I'm seeing some people that <laughs> have pretended to be friends and have pretended to be in agreement with me or maybe they really are in agreement with me but they're posting comments that are agreeing with the uh, the attack video so uh, if, the, if that applies to you then it's, it's not really very smart if you want to keep your hypocrisy secret uh, because it's easy to see so um, when I discover someone like that, and that I obviously don't want to associate with them, I, uh, the uh, in all of the preaching of Jesus, the only time that I believe that he uh, was uh, angry and really rebuked people were the self-righteous religious hypocrites. So uh, I certainly agree with Jesus that a self-righteous religious hypocrite should be rebuked and shunned. So, um, yeah, I, I, it is interesting. Uh, sometimes it's a surprise to me because some people are very deceptive. Um, but the, the, the hypocrisy is something I can't put up with. And then another thing that I can't put up with is the dogmatism that... Uh, uh, so many professing Christians uh, fall into. Um, Jesus said that they they strain out a gnat, but they swallow a camel. Um, in other words, I would, another example is they they follow the letter of the law, but they don't understand the the true intention, the heart of the law. And that's not only what these um, um, people who are teaching. The, these um, of making these videos and teaching these things uh, that my message is, is wrong in one way or another, those people would fall into that category that they are, they're trying to follow the letter of the law, but they don't really understand the heart of the law or the true intention of the message. Um, so uh, I think it's time for for me to make a, a point that the the per, what is the purpose of you being on YouTube? I'll tell you the purpose. I'm on YouTube. Uh, I'm not here to try to uh, amass a uh, large uh, number of subscribers or <clears throat> a large number of, of followers. Now, um, I I'm here as an evangelist simply to spread seeds and my goal is to spread millions and millions of seeds I've done it for many years in my per personal evangelism and my street preaching I've done it now for many years on YouTube I want to spread millions of seeds uh, I'm not going to invest a large part of my life trying to make one of those seeds grow and at the expense of hundreds of other people that need to hear the message. 
So uh, I certainly am not going to be uh, obsessing over any individual if they just don't get it. If they don't have ears to hear, then I move on to the next person. <laughs> so it, it's my goal in my ministry to simply introduce Jesus Christ to people and, and tell people the good news that Jesus offers salvation and eternal life as a free gift. Now, uh, that's all I want to do. And of course, then I have a few people that uh, I am able to have a close fellowship with. That uh, we're, we are like-minded on, on the most important uh, doctrines and our core beliefs. And, and then we are tolerant of each other so that on all the other topics we can discuss it and learn from each other and uh, uh, hear each other out, give each other a fair hearing. But uh, so I'm happy to have fellowship. I'm happy to study and learn together with, with a few of you. But uh, the sad thing about this state of Christendom today when I say Christendom, that's just the uh, the total number of people who uh, would are categorized as Christians. Now, what percentage of Christendom are really Christians? A, a Christian is someone who relies completely on Christ for their salvation. What percentage of all Christendom has that belief that Jesus Christ is my Savior? I'm not worthy. I'm depending completely on him for my salvation. I think it's a pretty small percentage that would agree with that uh, doctrine. But out of all of Christendom, those people who are labeled as Christians, uh, it's, it's very, very sad that um, there's many of these people, and many of them here on YouTube that I've met, they are some of the worst people I've ever met. It seemed like they're just full of nothing but hate and criticism and dishonesty. Some of them are incorrigibles. Some of the worst people I've ever, ever um, observed. Are they saved? You know, I'm not here to judge whether someone's saved. I can only judge what, what uh, they, their message is. If, if, if they believe that salvation comes through faith alone in Christ alone, and that's the only requirement, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, then I would have to accept that. But if they are changing that message, uh, adding to it in any way, then, then uh, I, I would suspect that they're not saved. Now, based upon their conduct, based upon the quality of their character, the amount of love in them rather than hate, I will, uh, that will determine if I want to associate with them, not whether I think they're saved or not. So sadly, there are many in Christendom that are just some of the worst people I've ever encountered. Uh, but that, that doesn't stop me to, from wanting to uh, spread the good news and have fellowship and study with those people who do share my basic core beliefs and also have uh, an attitude of tolerance for uh, other opinions on various topics. So, uh, if you're someone that sees one of these uh, uh, videos that are critical of me, uh, I know your intention is good if you want to send it to me and notify me, but I don't watch the videos. Uh, those people a long time ago were blocked. and. Uh, but if you're making comments on those videos, just be aware. <laughs> I'm aware of anyone who is a hypocrite, who has been pretending to agree with me, be my friend, and yet they go on those videos and, and uh, it's dis disgraceful, their hypocrisy. So let me just end by saying that uh, uh, if you're not a... This message is not relevant to you, but but you're watching the video anyway, I want you to know how to receive eternal life from Jesus Christ. It's really simple. 
I'm not asking you to join a religion or, or become a religious person or follow some set of religious rules. I'm simply asking you to believe in Jesus Christ. Put your faith in the person of Jesus. And when you believe in Jesus, he gives you eternal life as a free gift. And who is Jesus? He is God Almighty. And he loves us so much that he was willing to come down from heaven and become a man so that he could die on a cross and pay for our sins. And he did it. He paid for all our sins. So now there is no barrier between man and God. Sin was a barrier before. And Jesus removed that barrier when he died for our sins. And he raised himself from the dead to prove that he does have power over life and death. And because of that, we are justified in putting our faith in Jesus. We, we know that he does have power over life and death, so he can keep his promise. He can give us eternal life. If you've never done that, then I'm going to ask you right now, call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Jesus, I'm not worthy. Will you save me? I believe in you. I'm trusting you for my salvation. If you do that, make a comment on this video and let me know, please. Uh, thank you very much for, for watching. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.